Okay, I want to give you an example of a woof tone in a cello, which is a very common thing. And uh, I'm not quite sure what creates it. I think that the frequency of the body or the top especially has a certain uh, note frequency. And um, I forget what mine was when I tapped it after I had built it. But I think that frequency of at which the top vibrates fights the frequency of the a particular note when you're playing the strings. And um, the result is like two frequencies not quite in sync with each other or something. I'm not sure how it works. But um, that results commonly, even in the best cellos, in what they call a woof tone. And usually they're about F, F sharp. And so on the F, F sharp on the G string, which is where I have my finger, you will hear one, and you might hear one on the D string. But um, here's a normal note. You know, just played smooth. And to find the woof note, what you do is you just slide your finger till you find it. sharp here's the F sharp on the D string there you hear it on the D string so it's about an F sharp of different methods uh, in order to cancel out the woof tone and what a lot of people do is put some kind of dampener on the strings between the bridge and the tailpiece which is what I do some people at a certain point the top vibrates and if they put something on the just the right spot like sometimes they put something with double stick tape on the top when they found the spot um, that vibrates at that weird frequency. Sometimes they put, um, they glue something on the inside at that spot. And there's even one method that's pretty expensive, which involves a magnet. And so there's something inside, like a little bar cylinder and on the top there's a magnet that um, is attached to that cylinder inside and you can move that magnet around till you find that right spot and it does the same thing it kind of deadens that wolf tone uh, but those are super expensive uh, and so what i did was i did some reading and i found a pretty well um, uh, recommended method, which is, this is called a New Harmony Woof Eliminator, Woof Eliminator. And what it is, is just a brass. This one is seven grams. They have them in different weights. And it just has a slot. But the slot, as you can see, is not just straight across. So it presses on the string. 
And what you have to do is you, most people tend to put it on the G string. Um, it doesn't matter whether you put on the C string or the D string, it's still going to affect to stop the wolf tone even on the D string. But most people seem to put it on the G string. And what you do is you put it on there and you have to find kind of the right spot how far down from the bridge to go. And it's just kind of trial and error. So I'll stop the video right here, put this on. I have to loosen the string to put it on, otherwise cause damage to the string because of that, you know, that curved, that curved slot. And then uh, once I've found the spot, I'll play it again for you. Okay, I loosened the G string, this string here, so I could put on the um, Wolf Eliminator, which is right here. And I think I have it around, I don't know, 15 or so millimeters from the bridge. And so you put it on and then you tune the string back up. And uh, the F, F sharp, here it is on the D string, no wolf sound. You hear it slightly, but part of that is my inexpert bow playing. See, it's smooth, so I'll find that same note on the G string. I'll slide up to it. Well, there it is right there. You hear a slight, so I could probably adjust the eliminator. But, but if I slide it, you're not going to hear that awful sound anywhere. deadens the string at a certain spot. I don't know how that works, but it works. Okay, so that's what a wolf tone is. Pretty interesting, huh?